Welcome to a brand new video that will give you new effects and blow your mind on the way. So as you guys know, I love visual effects. I like them to be high quality and I want them to speak in the cinematic language. I don't want it to be crazy, confusing, trying to impress, but not really. I like it as simple as possible. Some of you have bought my badass effects. And today, I'm glad to report that I have a new badass pack. And also some free stuff. Let's start with that. Effect Santa. <laughs> so from now on, in all of my videos, you will be getting free effects. They will appear with this notification and this sound. You can look at it as a kind of an easter egg. Every time you'll hear it, you can click on that notification and it will just give you a link to download and get free effects. You might ask yourself, why is he doing this? Well, because I want you to watch my videos and I'm gonna be hiding them in the videos in random places. So when you discover it, it's kind of a fun and you also get to watch my video. This is kind of a trial. I wanna see if it works and if you guys like it. Anyway, in today's free effect, you're getting memory zoom. You're getting the zoom in and zoom out for free. All right, now let's get to our pack. Today we have a lot of effects to cover. Some of them are simple, some of them are a bit more complex, but all of them are mwah. So the first effect I'm very proud to present to you is the Badass Magnify. And look how delicious it looks when it just moves. It's just like... Mm. I just love it so much. Now, some of you will look at this effect and go, it's really cool, but I wonder if I can put my own image in there. This effect is just delicatess. Next. The next effect is the POV effect. Now this effect is, I wanted to do a separate video just about this effect. To keep it short, because we have a lot to cover. This effect basically hijacks your subconscious. I've seen it for the first time in the movie All I See Is You, where you get to see the point of view of a blind woman, how she gets from being very blind to slowly getting her vision back. The creators of this movie did something that I've never seen before. They've actually used the blinking eye as her point of view. This might not sound like a big deal, but I realize that every time I see this effect, my mind is getting hijacked. I suddenly inside of her head. It was so powerful, I couldn't even explain it. I started studying this effect, watching this thing frame by frame to understand what exactly happens and why is it so powerful. I got so excited about this POV effect that I decided to start a whole series based on this effect called In My Mind. Wow, it's kind of trippy. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Wait, is this a dream? There's no way I just met two of my ex-girlfriends at the same time, right? Right? <sighs> Where 
where I basically film everything from my point of view and I speak my thoughts. If you want to watch that first episode, the suggestion is right here and also in the description. I came up with three POV effects. The first one is a classic point of view effect. It's basically a blinking eye with a focus point. With that focus point, you can choose what area you want your audience to focus on. The second version is the RGB blur. This is more for surreal situations where it's a bit more dreamy, more music video-ish. And the last point of view effect is the zoom blur. This one is perfect for running, bikes, cars, all of that fast stuff. Whenever you use this effect and choose the center point, all the zoom blur streaks moves with it. It's really, really cool. And if you're wondering if there is a version to this effect without the whole eye thing, the answer is yes. It's called the Intensify 2. Next comes the light stretch. It adds a little bit of a dreamy feel and it's also kind of what our eyes do when you close them a little bit and look at some bright point, you will see the same effect. Okay, the next effect is a very cute, simple effect, but I've seen it in the movie Limitless and since then I can't get it out of my mind. Well, it's mine is yours too and you know I want to share the rest of my life with you. In fact, I was thinking... Don't propose. Pro why not? Because it worked out so well for you last time. It's true, I did marry once, right out of college, to Melissa. I do. Briefly. This isn't working. I really love that circle that follows her when she's living. I thought, this is a pretty simple effect. We have it in Final Cut Pro, right? It's called vignette. Well, not really. The only way to make this effect yourself in Final Cut Pro is actually use a mask. Using masks is always messy, so I, I, I don't really like it. So I decided to just go for it and create this effect myself. It's a very simple but yet cool effect. It's basically a circle that tells your viewer in a cool way where you want them to look at. Alright, next. Rainbows. Now before you go, oh my god, this is so cheesy, I can't believe he made this rainbow effect. Let me explain. I've seen those rainbow effects a few times in really cool movies. And I have to admit that I had a few situations in videos where I thought, you know what, this kind of rainbow effect could really help the video right now. So I decided to just create it, and I've already used it twice. Even though it could look like a cheesy idea, it's not. Okay, so our next transition pack is all about time. We have two memory zoom in and zoom out that you're getting for free anyway. And we have four time stretch effects. Let me, let me explain. Like imagine that the video is basically like a fabric that somebody pulls. That's basically what the effect is. Now if you activate the time trail that I've added here, what it does is basically creates this kind of a flashy memory of your previous shot. It's really cool. We have all the directions, up, down, left, right. Those effects are made for those situations where you want to come back in time, go to the future, all the stuff that's surrounded around time. You're covered in this transition pack. And I've also dropped in a little bonus for you guys. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And I want you to please write me in the comments what effects do you want for me next. Maybe you want some tips about how to use Final Cut Pro, how to edit certain things. Maybe you want some basic filmmaking tips, how to choose music, I don't know. Whatever it is that you feel that I could serve you in, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this pack. I see you soon in the next episode of In My Mind. <laughs>